Let my challenge to write an entire book in one week commence. That's right, I've challenged myself to write an entire book in one week. I feel like I just got deja vu saying that. Maybe that's because this is actually the third time I've taken on this challenge. I just started this challenge a few hours ago when the day turned into November 2nd, so by November 9th, I should have a completed draft if I succeed. The rules to this challenge are pretty simple. I am starting with a completely blank document, and by the end of this challenge, that document needs to have at least 50,000 words. Every word in that document will have to be written during this week. On top of that, since this is a challenge to write an entire book during one week, that book is going to have to have a beginning, middle, and ending. So basically, it doesn't matter if I do hit the 50,000 word goal if I don't finish the story. And that's definitely going to be the hardest part of this challenge, because I feel like the book that I'm trying to write during this challenge is going to take more than 50,000 words. I am guesstimating here, but I honestly feel like best case scenario is going to be like 65,000 words. Just saying that out loud, that is an insane amount of words to write in one week, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Why do I do this to myself? Since this is November, I guess this is also my way of taking on National Novel Writing Month. If I complete this challenge to write an entire book in one week, or actually even if I don't complete the entire challenge, but if I write 50,000 words, I will be completing NaNoWriMo. Which is actually pretty cool to be honest, because the closest I've ever come to finishing NaNoWriMo was writing 32,000 words last year. To think I couldn't write 50,000 words in November last year, now I'm trying to do it in one week. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? I guess this challenge is kind of my way of doing NaNoWriMo without actually doing NaNoWriMo. I always thought the NaNoWriMo challenge was great, but with all the controversies, I think it's best to kind of steer clear of NaNoWriMo. Now that this challenge is officially on, I'm going to try to lock in and write as many words as I possibly can, both tonight and tomorrow when I wake up, which will still technically be the first day of this challenge. I mean, just from my experiences attempting this challenge two times before, I know just how exhausting it can be as the week goes on. I truly think that it's essential to my success in this challenge that I got to a huge head start here. With just seven days, if I do fall behind, there's really no way I can catch back up. So with that being said, I should probably go get writing. Wish me luck, because I'm definitely going to need it. Now that I think of it, by the time you're watching this video, this challenge is already over, but still wish me luck because I can use all the luck I can get. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, this word count goal is so daunting that I can't really bring myself to even start. Whew. Okay. Yesterday I talked about how if I wanted to beat this challenge, I was going to have to get off to a really fast start. Unfortunately, that did not happen. In the first 24 hours of this challenge, I wrote 4,780 words. On a normal day, that is a great word count. For this challenge to write an entire book in one week, that's just not going to cut it. Basically, that's 5,000 words a day, which is an incredible pace. The problem is, if I write 5,000 words a day, after 7 days, I'm going to have 35,000 words. That will put me 15,000 words below my minimum goal for this challenge. And not for nothing, at the speed that this story is going so far, I'm probably going to need more than 50,000 words. I'm less than 5,000 words in here, and I'm already cooking with a lot of ingredients. The good news is, as I've continued to write this story, my pace has began to pick up. My hope yesterday night before I went to bed was to write at least 3,000 words before I went to sleep, and I only was able to write 400. And then I won't lie, I woke up today around 2 p.m., and I was just slow out of the gate when it came to writing. I had a few writing sessions earlier in the day, but they were all 300 words here, break. 400 words there, break. I really couldn't get anything going. In the past few hours though, I've been able to have a couple 45 minute sessions where I put a thousand words on the page, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Fortunately, to help me a little bit more with this challenge, it actually turns out today is daylight savings time. That means I'm gaining a full hour to do a little bit of extra damage on my workout goal tonight. So I guess this challenge is actually to write an entire book in one week plus one hour, but I'll allow it. It's not like in the grand scheme of things, this one hour is going to completely change the results of this challenge. Although if it did, that would be pretty funny. Right now, I'd love to tell you a little bit more about the book I'm currently writing for this challenge, which is named Talia's Ghosts. But since I'm kind of behind schedule, I really want to get to writing it, and hopefully I can get into a good place where I can talk about it more tomorrow. I know it sounds insanely ambitious, but if I can have 15k written by midnight tomorrow, I'd be in great shape to finish this challenge. That'd be 10,000 words in 24 hours. I've done it before. Let's see if I can do it here. Quick update, it's 9pm on day 2 and I've officially hit 10k words. I would like to do it a little bit sooner today, but that's not bad at all. So I know yesterday I set a goal and said I need to hit 15,000 words by the end of day 2. I didn't hit that. My current total is 12,018 words. That means on day 2 I wrote 7,238 words. And hey, I'm not going to get mad at myself for that. That's a lot of words. That being said, in terms of this challenge, it's still not enough. 
Even if I did write 7,000 words every single day for this challenge, I still end up with 49,000 words. That's under 50,000. I've done this challenge before, but man, this has been more daunting than I thought it would be. And to be honest, I think one of the biggest challenges I'm having right now is Talia's Ghost is not an easy book to write. I've actually attempted to write Talia's Ghost before on this channel last year for NaNoWriMo, and I had a lot of struggles. The book in simplest terms is basically about a character, Nate, who tries to balance his life in the physical world and the virtual reality world. In the world of Talia's Ghost, you're able to upload your consciousness into virtual reality using a device called a spike. That spike basically gets plugged into a port in the back of your head. A lot of Nate's obsession with the virtual world comes from his ex-girlfriend Talia, who he met in the virtual world. The story kicks off after Talia, who's been ghosting Nate's messages for almost three years, finally responds to one of his messages. One of the major struggles I had the first time I tried to write Talia's Ghost was trying to manage the virtual reality scenes. I really want the virtual reality scenes to contrast the physical world scenes. Another challenge with writing this book is Nate's character acts a lot differently in the virtual world than he does in the physical world. Another problem with writing Nate and having Nate as the main character is Nate really isn't a good person. At least the way I start off the story, Nate is incredibly unlikable, and I try to balance that out by also having him be really interesting, but it's kind of hard. One big aspect of this story is Nate's stubbornness and his inability to accept help from the others who are ready to help him. And then on top of that, the other problem with writing this book is it's incredibly complicated. Throughout the story, there are going to be major plot twists, so I'm also trying to find ways to kind of hint at them earlier on in the story. The first two times I took on this challenge, I did it with my book Europa, and Europa is a lot more simple of a story. Europa was also told as a series of diary entries, which for me at least made it easier to kind of write in one week. I felt like I was able to write it a little bit quicker. That being said, I'm really glad that I challenged myself to try to write Talia's Ghost during this challenge. I've been wanting to write Talia's Ghost for a long time. For the most part, I always find excuses to put it off. The reason I think it was such a good idea to try to write this book in one week is, in reality, the first draft of this book is going to be a mess. I feel like I really have to force myself to write through a terrible draft to really understand some of the issues in the story and improve them. One thing about this challenge to write an entire book in one week is it really takes the pressure off making sure your book is perfect. I feel like this challenge is really giving me the freedom to write a shitty book so I can fix it later. And yeah, I'll be honest, while there are parts I like about this draft so far, this is a shitty draft. That being said, while I'm writing, I do have the partial draft of Talia's Ghost that I wrote last time when I attempted to write it open, and I will say, I think the one I'm writing now is better. I'm not taking any words from that draft, what I am doing is kind of taking a look at it and seeing what I like and what I don't, because the first time I tried to write this book, I wrote it last year for NaNoWriMo, I could not finish it. I basically wrote myself into a hole in the middle of the story, and I really didn't know how to get out of it. I'm pretty sure in this version of Talia's Ghost that I'm currently writing, I'm going to avoid that hole, but we'll see what happens. You really never know when you're going to write yourself to a brick wall. Yesterday for day two, my goal was basically to write 10,000 words to kind of make up for my first day slow start. I unfortunately didn't do that. I'm hoping I can write 10,000 words today. <sighs> we'll see how that goes. On one hand, I feel like it's been getting a little easier to write because I'm getting more into the flow of things. On the other hand, I can definitely feel myself burning out slowly. Maybe not burning out. I feel like the better term is I definitely feel fatigue setting in. This is enough procrastinating here though. I'm gonna get back to writing. Oh yeah, it's that point of this challenge. <laughs> So day three just ended and I'm going to be blunt, this is not going well at all. I'm really trying my best not to be too hard on myself right now because I did write 6,945 words today. That truly is incredible and I feel like I'm repeating myself here but that's just not going to do it for this challenge. I just need to find a way to dig in here and find another gear. I've done it before, I've written 10, 11, 12,000 words in a day, I just can't really find it for this challenge. I think one of the major problems I'm definitely having is I'm procrastinating for way too long. I'm spending so much time, I don't want to say dreading writing, but just putting writing off for an extra 15, 20 minutes because I just don't want to get back to work. And I really think a big part of that is I just know how much left I have to do. My three-day work count is at 18,963 words, and that's pretty good. Again, it's not bad. It's just, I thought I'd be a lot further along right now. I was really hoping to at least be at 25,000 words at this point. And I know that sounds crazy, but let's face it, I took on this challenge. I'm a little bit crazy. Just a little bit. On top of all the excessive procrastination I've been doing, which has definitely been killing my momentum, I also feel like when I'm actually writing, I'm not fully engaged. I feel like right now my writing sessions are a bit too long because I'm trying to make up for the fact that I'm taking too many breaks, and as a result, I feel like I'm just losing momentum at the end of them. As a result, I think for the rest of tonight and definitely tomorrow, I'm going to try to implement a more strict writing sprint routine. I don't really know what that's going to look like, but hey, I'll just figure that out as I go along. I mean, that's basically what I'm doing with this book anyway. For a second, I kind of want to forget about the goal to write an entire book in one week and really focus on the goal to write 50,000 words. And that's because I think a big part of what's making this writing so daunting is I'm realizing this story is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Almost 19,000 words in, I don't think I'm even a quarter into telling this story. But that's perfectly okay. It doesn't mean this challenge is over because a lot of times when I write without an outline, my pacing is very inconsistent. In fact, the part that typically gets truncated the most is actually the middle of the story because I kind of get lost there. Instead, as crazy as it sounds, I really want to focus on the 50,000 word goal. The reason I really want to focus on that more is as crazy as it sounds, that seems more achievable to me. I've written 50,000 words in a week. Just saying that out loud gives me a little bit of confidence that this challenge is not over. 
In fact, if I cut it down even further, I have four days to write 31,000 words. I know for a fact that I can pull that off. So that's exactly what I'm gonna work towards doing. I mean, how hard could it possibly be? I should stop saying that. I'm not even gonna set a word count goal for today because I feel like those word count goals are just adding more pressure. Instead, I'm just gonna try to write as much as I possibly can in 24 hours and see what happens. Wish me luck the rest of the way because I'm definitely gonna need it. Even now, I'm just... Even now, I find myself just sitting here and stalling, trying to buy myself a few extra minutes of rest. This challenge is seriously no joke. So I'm two hours into day four and I just hit 20,000 words. Yay. Ignore that clock. I didn't change it for daylight savings time yet. I am so exhausted right now, but I really want to get to 21,000 words before I go to sleep. On the other hand, I just want to go lie in my bed for a few minutes, but I know if I do, I know if I do, I'm going to fall asleep. But at the same time, it would have been so much better if I wrote an extra thousand words last night. So I'm really going to try to do one more writing sprint. Oh, man. Just 45 more minutes to see how many words I can get on the page. Why do I do this to myself? Why? <sighs> I wish I could tell you this book looks really good right now, but it doesn't, it completely sucks. I'll admit it still looks better than the first time I tried to write it, but that doesn't really mean that much because the first time I tried to write it, it was absolutely terrible. All right, I'm getting a little cranky here because I'm tired and I really want to go to sleep. I'm gonna give myself like five more minutes and then I'm gonna get back to writing. By the way, these are just some of the seltzers I drank during the first three days of this writing challenge. I hate drinking water. So today on day four, I officially hit 25,000 words. Meaning in total on day four, I wrote 6,048 words. Yeah, first let me address the elephant in the room. I expected to write a lot more words than that today. It's 4 a.m. now. I was actually expected to be around 30,000 words at this point. Considering my momentum in the first half today, I really thought I was gonna write more than 10,000 words today. Up until 7 p.m. on day four, I was really writing at a pace that I just haven't been able to reach for the majority of this challenge. Day four was election day though, and I fell for it. What I mean when I say I fell for it is I just got completely sucked at that broadcast. Those election day news broadcasts are so good at hooking you in and just holding on to you for the entire time. They say big news this, big news that, and I fell for it like a complete sucker every time. And then of course, I think what really drew me in is the results of the election were just not what I expected. I'm not gonna get political here, this is a writing channel, and to be honest, I really don't like when everything's so politicized because I kind of just like to enjoy my media without politics all the time. But yeah, definitely what drew me in longer than I would have liked was it was a lot less close than I thought it was gonna be. And I got so invested into watching the broadcast that I really couldn't get my writing gears back into focus. So today I bought a bunch of energy drinks and my original plan was to drink those throughout the night and really have a strong writing night. And I realized now that if I do that, I'm just not going to do well. I'm just going to waste them. I know for a fact, if I drink a C4 right now before I try to write, I'm going to write for like 15 minutes and then I'm going to go right back on TikTok. So instead, and I really hope it doesn't cost me this challenge, but I think the best way to go about this is go to sleep now because I know I'm just not going to be able to focus. Hopefully get my focus back tomorrow and I just swing for the fences with my writing goals tomorrow. I mean, I got the energy drinks, I got some different flavors so I can kind of taste them and rate them, but I really think that's the best course of action. To be honest, at 25,000 words, especially at the point I'm at at the story right now, I'm so early still, or at least it feels like I'm so early into the story, I really don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this entire book this week. I'm not saying I'm definitely not gonna finish this book this week, but it's just not looking that likely. That being said, I am so confident that I can hit the word count goal. 25,000 words in three days sounds insane, but I really think I can pull this off. But anyway, this plan is gonna work. I need to get some sleep and I need to get some sleep now. No lingering on my phone for another hour. Tomorrow, this writing marathon becomes a sprint. I don't know if that made any sense, but it sounded really cool in my head, so I just had to say it. Why can't they just schedule election day until after my challenge? Don't they know I'm trying to write 50,000 words in a week? If I lose this challenge badly, which I'm not, I'm gonna try to give it my best effort the next three days, but if I really mess up at the end of this challenge, I can barely even get 40,000 words. This election day thing was a huge part of that. Not trying to make excuses or anything, but I was really hoping to get like 12,000 words on a page today. I just lost so many hours. I mean, it is my fault. I didn't have to watch the entire broadcast, but they held my attention so well. Why can't writing my book hold my attention like that? Now that would be pretty sweet. I will say, honestly, considering how unable I've been to lock in during this writing challenge so far, the fact that I do have 25,000 words is pretty great. It really shows me what I'm capable of when I actually put in the work consistently. I honestly don't even know what I'm still doing to talk to the camera. I really need to get some sleep. I'm procrastinating sleeping. That's just how good of a procrastinator I am. I procrastinate sleeping. That's honestly why my sleep schedule just sinks further and further back. I honestly feel if I spent half the time I do writing for Crash Standing, I honestly would have written a bestseller by now. Okay, none of them would have been bestsellers, but I definitely would have written a couple more books by now. Bestseller, who am I kidding? That's most certainly the 4 a.m. delusions talking. So I just woke up and I am ready to get into the writing zone. I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you, today is gonna be the turning point of this challenge. 
I don't know exactly what it is, but I just feel today's gonna be a big work count day. Like truly, I'm feeling 10K minimum. I'm gonna take a shower and get to work. That confident me this morning that I was talking about writing the world was an absolute clown. On day five, I made an absolute fool out of myself. I talked earlier in this challenge about how the first time I wrote Talia's Ghost, I got stuck halfway through the story. And guess what happened this time? I got completely stuck writing the story. Shit. I started today with over 25,000 words. I now have about 23,000 words. That's right, my word count went down. My word count went down. I spent my entire day working on this book and the word count somehow went down. I... I am genuinely so frustrated at myself, but I feel like that was the only way I could find a way to continue the story. Basically, I reached 30,000 words and I realized the path I took to get there just didn't make any sense. So I had to go back and fix a ton of parts and get rid of it because I really couldn't continue the story without doing that. I guess the only other thing I could have done was make the changes in my head and keep on writing, but I really felt like I couldn't keep on going until I fixed the story and I better understood what was wrong with the initial issue. I really wish I could go into more detail about what that issue is and why I had to change it, but I can't really get into that without spoiling the entire book. Talia's Ghost is a book with some major twists, and talking about this would kind of spoil the biggest one. It's funny too, because in terms of actually writing Talia's Ghost, this one day setback has actually been really good towards actually getting the story come to life. My vision for Talia's Ghost has never been clearer. I'm also not going to blame myself for not outlining, because this is an issue that I didn't really find until I really went into the trenches and wrote the story. That's actually one of the main reasons I don't really like to outline too much. Sometimes I think it's better to just jump in and find the issues with the story for yourself. So yeah, in terms of actually eventually finishing Talia's Ghost and getting this project out there, this was a great step. In terms of this writing challenge, it was a death sentence. At several points tonight when I was making changes in this book, I really wanted to quit. At this point, I've come to accept that on midnight on day 7, I'm not going to have a completed manuscript. However, just because I'm not going to be able to write an entire book in one week doesn't mean I can't still try. The only way I actually fail this challenge is if I give up. Besides, I still feel like I can still write 50,000 words if I truly give it everything I've got. So tonight I'm gonna get some sleep because I truly feel like I have nothing left in the tank. I feel like if I tried to write right now, it would just be so slow. And I, I, I feel so exhausted from all the work I've already done towards this project today, which is frustrating because the word count does not show it at all. But that's just how writing is sometimes. Then I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and for the last 30 or so hours of this challenge, I'm just gonna try to write as many words as I physically can. <sighs> And you know, it really sucks this to be down to the last day plus a few hours to see if I can actually write 50,000 words because I feel like I've had a lot of chances earlier in this competition to really write more words. But you know what? There's really no point in dwelling on it because I can't really change what I did in the past. I can change my mindset for tomorrow. I mean, on the bright side, I'm really not feeling that burnt out, at least not yet. So in the second half of day six, I was able to bring myself a little under 31,000 words. I think it was like 30,042 or something. Anyway, this does give me a path towards finishing this challenge, but it's gonna be a nightmare. I basically have 24 hours to write 20,000 words. Oh God. I'm gonna go take a shower to wake myself up and then we'll see how this goes. It's really funny how like most of the projects I work on this kind of devolved into a last second cram. I seem to not be very good at motivating myself to do something until the last possible second. That being said, I did write 30,000 words in six days. It's not like I've been doing nothing, but I don't know. Anyway, right now it's shower time and then we'll see if I can pull this off. All right, I got my energy drink ready. It's time to make the word count come back in the century. God, spill just... That's sweet. How is there only 10 calories in this? I don't even wanna know what chemicals I just put in my body. As long as it helps me write right now, I'm okay with it. Hopefully I don't regret that in 20 years. Okay, so the sun's out, it's almost 8 a.m. And in the time I've been writing, I've written 6,000 words. Not too shabby at all, especially considering that includes the time I took a shower and a couple breaks. And some filming time now that I think about it. I do have a question though, I never drink these. Is it normal that like my feet and fingers are like tingling? I am a little concerned about that, especially considering I drank it like over two hours ago. But I mean, it's probably fine, right? Just to be safe, I'll probably wait a few hours before I drink another energy drink. So yeah, so far I'm actually almost on pace to write 50,000 words before the end of the day. 
That being said, even as I speak right now, I feel like my brain is bleeding words. And you know what? Let's be real. The words I put on that page are absolute garbage, but they're still on the page. Like I always say, I can always edit them later, or I can just throw them out and start over again. Yeah, this draft is probably going in the trash can. I'm not saying I'm going to delete it. I never actually delete drafts, but there's a good chance that once I close this, I never open it again. And if I do open it again, it'll be an accident because I was trying to find something else. Anyway, I'm going to take a minute to scream into my pillow because I feel like I have to scream, but then I'm going to get back to writing. <coughs> that actually feels really good. <laughs> I really hope that wasn't loud. It didn't sound loud. I'm just imagining my neighbors calling the police right now thinking I'm getting murdered over here. Meanwhile, I'm just doing a writing challenge. Whew, back to writing. So by 1 p.m. I hit 10,000 words. I know I'm in bed right now. Don't worry, I'm not going to sleep. My back just got really stiff from sitting in my chair and writing all night last night. So I thought I'd kind of give myself a break and kind of lie down. Although I don't know if lying down is actually good for your back. It's not that I have back problems or anything, it's just I was sitting in that chair for like 12 hours. So I feel like that just really did a number after all that time. I'm going to be completely honest. While my progress has been impressive, it's almost a guarantee that I am not going to accomplish this challenge. Like it is getting infinitely tougher by the minute to keep on writing. These scenes are coming out like absolute mush. So the idea of writing 50,000 words is looking pretty glim right now, but I, it's possible. I mean, it's possible I get hit by a meteor in 15 seconds, but it's possible. That being said, while I'm going to continue to try to reach 50,000 words, I'm also accepting the fact that this book is going to be nowhere near complete at 50,000 words. In fact, that's today, I'm going to continue working on this draft, but I really need to reevaluate the pacing of this story because like I'm around 40,000 words in and I feel like I'm still setting up the story and that's just way too long. And that's really a strange place for me to be in because typically I'm an underwriter. Although honestly, I really wonder if this challenge to write an entire book in one week has kind of changed my mindset to overwrite. I'm gonna lie down here for a little bit, maybe do a little writing lying down, but then I'm gonna go back to my desk because I feel like I'm more productive at the desk. Also, I'm not gonna lie, every second I spend lying down on this bed, sleep is calling my name. And for the sake of this challenge, I just can't afford to fall asleep right now. I'll fall asleep in 11 hours when this challenge is over. I think it's a theme on this channel at this point that every single time I say I can't fall asleep, I fall asleep like 10 minutes later. I had a decent run writing in my bed. I think I wrote like 400 words and then I just passed out. Fortunately, I only fell asleep for like four hours, then I went down to get something to eat. I've been trying to get back into writing now, and my brain is just slowing down. I just shotgunned this for the short version of this video, and while I feel like I still have energy, I feel like I no longer have the mental energy to write words. At this point, all the words I'm writing are complete mush. But since I already have 42,000 words written down, I think I'm going to still try to give this a shot. I basically got like five hours left now. We'll see what happens. Realistically, based on my pace so far and how many words I have to hit to hit 50,000 words, it's probably not gonna happen, but hey, I still got words on the page. They might not make any sense, but they're still there. I really probably shouldn't, but for one last speed boost to end this challenge, I'm gonna drink one more Red Bull. I got the dragon fruit flavor here. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes like battery acid. Well, it tastes like what I think battery acid would taste like. I don't drink battery acid. I mean, batteries have energy though, so maybe that's a good thing. I've technically got like 25 minutes till the official end of this challenge, but I'm gonna call it right here. My final word count is 44,801 words. I didn't quite hit 50K, but you know what? Who really cares about that? Um, I am so tired right now. 44,000 words in seven days is genuinely incredible. I really wanna give more thoughts on how this challenge went, but honestly, I don't think I can really comprehend like a full thought right now. It's kind of hard to explain this feeling. Like, I don't have a headache, but my brain is, it feels tired. Oh, everything feels tired. I'll definitely sum up my final thoughts tomorrow, but for now I'm gonna get some sleep because I, my brain is shutting down. I, oh God. Yeah. Just lying down in bed now, even though I didn't succeed this challenge, I just feel like this weight lifted off my shoulder. It's honestly so relieving to know that I don't have to wake up tomorrow and write 10,000 words. Honestly, I probably will still try to write 6,000 words tomorrow. That way I can write the 50,000 words, but the pressure's off. Now that I think of it, I'm honestly dreading reading that word salad next week. With that being said, good night. I think I earned this. I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if I woke up at like 5 p.m. tomorrow. Don't try this at home, kids. I can't wait till I make myself do this again in like two months. Never learn my lesson.
So I'm filming this on November 11th, a few days after the challenge ended. I technically wasn't actually participating in NaNoWriMo, but I accomplished it and in only 11 days, so I'm definitely going to celebrate that. And in general, now that I've had time to kind of look back and reflect on this challenge, I am very proud of what I've accomplished. 44,000 words in 7 days plus 1 hour is no joke. This video is getting a little long, so I do want to wrap it up, but I think the last thing I really want to talk about is what I plan to do with those words I wrote for Talia's Ghost. As you probably noticed, that meltdown halfway through this challenge where I had to delete a ton of words to kind of get back on track because I really didn't know where the story was going. This story is kind of a mess. This is honestly like the fourth time I've tried to write Talia's Ghost, or at least seriously tried to write this book, and all four times I've run into major issues. With most of my writing projects, I'm a pantser. I kind of like to run into issues and solve them as I go. So far for Operation Arc, I've pretty much pants the entire way along, and to be honest, it's gone really smoothly. I'm realizing though, after these four times trying to write Talia's Ghost, that this is not the best strategy for this book. So I've decided with Talia's Ghost that I'm going to take a few days to really look over these 44,000 words I wrote and kind of take what I like and what I don't and really understand where the issues in the story are coming from. I also want to take some notes on where I think the story is going and where I want it to go and how I can really get there. And then from there, I've actually decided that I'm going to create an outline for the story. I know it sounds crazy. I never outline, but I really feel like an outline would be the best course of action for this story. Stepping back and working on an outline for Talia's Ghost while I work on Operation Arc seems a lot less daunting than trying to write two books at once. I've tried to do that multiple times in my young writing career and it's never worked out. I always start off by trying to write two books at once and I end up writing no books. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't already, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know in the comments what's the quickest time period you've ever written a book in. For me, it's a week because even though I failed this challenge this time, I have accomplished it in the past. The video where I accomplished this in the past will be in the end screen, but please don't watch it. Trust me, it's a terrible video. I made it over a year ago and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I've come a long way as a content creator in a year. That being said, the book I wrote in a week, Europa, will be in the caption below. It totally sucks. I mean, of course it sucks. I wrote it in one week, but I'm really proud that I did it. So check out Europa. And if you do check it out, let me know what you think. If you are doing NaNoWriMo or if you're doing any other writing challenges, good luck.